welcome to another installment of property vlogs today i'm so excited to show you this fabulous house here which is the lace maker by belway homes so what are we looking at we're looking at a three bedroom three bathroom house um all the information about the size and the price is going to be via link in our description but most of all i'm sure you're curious to see what it looks like inside so let's tour it together shall we all right hello you come on inside ah get yourself nice and warm and let's begin the tour so straight into it we're now in the hallway as you can see they've got that inbuilt matting on the floor which we love which is just great to see that now it's so much more practical than just coming straight onto your beautiful flooring again we've got the front door this door is a really nice door in the sense that it's got that little glazed panel there letting in light we've got the little peephole there as well and obviously it's got the typical fittings that you'd expect in terms of hallways this width i would call standard width as in like it's not any more or any less than you need but off that matting you come straight onto this luxury vinyl tiling like a kind of a brick sized herringbone pattern and then we're going to talk about the first room the first room and probably the most important room for anyone visiting you will be this downstairs toilet it's a two-piece suite it smells amazing it's got a window facing the front with a bit of frosted glass as well and then the, i love this brush chrome edging strip all the way around the half height tiling the white goods are by rocker and i like the hidden cistern as well so the toilety bits are like tucked away. And then we've got the sink as well, which completes this space. Let's come back into the hallway and let's look opposite at the kitchen. So before we go into the kitchen, let me just talk about the ironmongery. Let's close this door really quickly. So I like the paneling effect. This is the type of paneling you're gonna see on this development. And then you've got the chrome handles. And you see these type of handles a lot on a lot of new build developers. They're obviously very durable, probably very easy to get. And they're just your kind of like classic chrome handles now. The architraves have this kind of square edge to them and they've got a beveled gap in between. Now that all of that said, let's go straight into the kitchen kitchen is a nice size really like it it's a u-shaped uh, formation with a sink one and a half bowl facing your garden i love that and then you've got your window which is like extra points for bellway for doing that and they've tiled the sill as well which is a detail which i'm starting to see and i really like i like the laminate work top and the pairing of the laminate work top against the kind of the greyish beige uh, cupboard doors as well and then you've got like a nickel effect handle the boiler is there and that's a logic heat h18 you've got some like upgrades by the way kind of uh, dispersed in this kitchen so just bear that in mind you've got the recessed lighting the led lighting kind of for moodiness You've got your extract fan there as well and then you've got your stainless steel splashback and your gas hob there with four burners they've not got the traditional location of the oven because it's there in the wall which is so practical no more bending down lifting the heavy turkey that's great for christmas isn't it and then you've got lots and lots of wall mounted storage and then under counter storage as well i probably should have showed you the dishwasher guys so this isn't the no washing machine is over here and then this is the dishwasher over here both by zanussi which is a great brand and then you've got behind the door you've got your fridge freezer in a 70 30 arrangement this kitchen is going to be nice and cozy because there's a radiator behind the wall and that is your kitchen let's go back into the hallway as we walk this way we see the winding staircase to the first floor but welcome into your open plan dining living area wow and i love the proportions of this space this is more of a square arrangement but it works because you've got the additional space here with the dining table and brian actually had this amazing idea which is that 
if you obviously they put a mirror on that wall but you could actually connect the kitchen to this dining area if you wanted to and have an open plan kitchen dining and living area so ignore that mirror you'd have a, you'd open that up and create a walkway or you could have doors to close it off but they're glazed doors connecting the spaces together i love that so few features of this space is you've got a window facing your driveway and you can look at your garage that way you've got this very nicely sized and proportioned living area with a focal point either on this wall or that wall depending on what you feel like obviously this wall makes sense because then you can have access down there uninterrupted to the back which is your garden you can see roughly the size and its relationship to your garage which is on the right so you'd have paving slabs and you'd have lawn at the back and then you'd have these gorgeous double doors which open out and you've got windows either side and views left and right i really really like that so let's keep going a bonus space is here which is this understair cupboard it doesn't have a light in it and you can see what i mean guys if you just ask the developer to put in a light switch either in the wall or in there it will just brighten the space up and you wouldn't be scared to go in to get all the stuff and it's a really really nice size so let's keep moving and go to the first floor all right so now that we're on the first floor let's keep going first mystery door is your store cupboard where your hot water cylinder is there's a little bit of storage around it it's not too bad and obviously that develop the the, the <laughs> obviously that depends on what type of heating system the development has in your area and then you've got the first bedroom which is a really nicely sized double bed it's actually quite a long room and wow this is really cool the ceiling has these like star lights i'm gonna save that for later as an idea for me they've got spotlights and a pendant those spotlights will definitely be an upgrade so bear that in mind but you've got space for modest size bedside tables either side and a nicely sized double bed you've got two windows which is a bonus and i've just noticed underneath each window is our two small radiators as well really cool obviously there's a theme going in this room isn't there um there's a mystery door which we'll show you in a second but just over here i just want to show you this is where your wardrobe could be or you could have it on the back wall if you wanted to as well so that's good to know that it's it's sufficient for wardrobe through this door is an ensuite as you can see so this ensuite is a three-piece suite You've got your toilet, your sink, and your bathtub as well. And then you've got space for a towel rail there, electric shower there. There's no window here, so there is a ventilation um, unit as well. So let's go that way. And then let's go into the corridor. This is a Jack and Jill arrangement, guys. Surprise. So the same ensuite can be accessed through here. So it can be both a private or a kind of a family bathroom type of arrangement. The next bedroom is here. Another generous size double bedroom. You've got your wardrobes on that side. As you can see, there's space either side of the bed. It's a really, really nice size. Window facing the front of the property. A dresser there with a potential, could be a TV location or artwork. And then you've got an ensuite here. And this time, this one has a window in it. There's a radiator underneath it. And it's a three-piece suite. So you've got your sink by rocker, toilet by rocker, and then your shower, which is a nice size shower, actually, for this sized house and room. So... Let's head back to the hallway again. And you're probably wondering what's through this door. This door takes you to the bonus floor. So let's go up to the second floor. <laughs> now that we're on the second floor, as you can see, the bedroom is a fantastic size. This is a super king forget what the camera is showing whether it makes it look smaller or bigger this is a large bed by the fact that 
we've got an oversized headboard with oversized bedsides either side just walk into this side of the bedroom you can just see how big it is and i just love the tall ceilings as well this is your own little getaway from the rest of the house it's a very nice space and you've got a little nook here which you can make a dressing area nook window for it's a dormer window actually facing the front of the property again and then if i go over here there's a proper walk-in wardrobe area with wardrobes either side i love that so again i think this has been built out to give you an idea of what you can do but really it's just showing that all this space over here you could have wardrobes you can have more over here as well and then you've got your roof window or velux i think it is a roof velux but velux is the brand so let's just call it a roof window over there bringing in lots of natural light now what would a primary bedroom be if not for having an ensuite it wouldn't be complete would it so you've got another window as well bringing in lots of light a large shower very very large with a sliding door love the palette it's very moody and dark isn't it towel rail toilet and your sink i like this little ledge as well for decor so guys i think that pretty much concludes this house tour i have enjoyed touring this version and this house and i hope you have too if you saw something i missed definitely leave it in the comments because we do read comments but most of all subscribe so we see you in the next video all right see you then bye